Hey, if y'all did not know, man, we are in the building, man, with that boy Freeze, man, a.k.a. Blue, man, the CEO and founder of YC Double E, man. Man, that's what it is, man, right there, man. Hey, we're going to... Hey man, let's just go ahead and shoot. Take a break real quick, man. Let's let's shoot into uh, let's shoot into one of your videos right now. Uh, what's the, what song you want to spin? What song you got on your screen? It's up to you, whichever one. Whichever one, uh, whichever one that Pyre finna shoot. What's that? Uh, <laughs> what's that? Chase oh, the bag. On, uh, chase the bag is the same one. I don't think they're ready for that one. Do it on the set. On the set. Yeah. Um. On the set after uh off the IEP. Okay. Yeah. On the set. All right, shoot. That's Everybody what the, we're gonna shoot it to that video right now, yeah, man. Video. On the set, man. Number one spot exclusive. Yes, hey, DJ DQ, man. Hey, take us out. We see that nigga bumping his guns. What he talking about? Cause we done did some shit that we can't ever talk about. It's zero toleration when it come to disrespect. Cut. Oh, we gave each other martial arts over with black. Man, we the originals, man. Yeah. When I found out. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. Simple and plain shit. You can't get no other color out of black but black. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. All like black Man, is it's the mixture of all the colors. Yeah, we we can color. We can color. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you say you said, Man, I'm brown. <laughs> you brown. Yeah, I'm brown. Nigga, you black. Man, you, you damn near matching that shirt you got. <laughs> 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 Mike check one two one two yeah. He must like that cab record. He asked about that moment. He liked that, <laughs> <laughs> that cab record. Hey, that cab like record. I told him. I put yeah. him on to it. Cause I'm out here trying to chase a back end. Run it up and run it up and run it, run it, run it, run it. For the door I never yeah, let go. For the door I never let go. No. <laughs> Welcome back to the number one spot, man. Hey, appreciate that DJ DQ, man, bringing us in, man. On that note, man, if y'all did not know, man, that's that C A B, man, chasing a bag, man, by my boy Freeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase hey, man, talk, talk to us about that album. I mean, about that, about that song right there, man. Oh, uh, Cad, man. Um. <laughs> it's crazy because my nigga, uh, shout out my nigga 14. They featured my nigga 14 grams on it all. Yeah, shout out to that boy uh, 14 grams. My nigga 14 grams used to be called T100. So if anybody know T100, that's yeah. 14 grams now. But, yeah. Uh, man, we linked up on some shit and uh, just some street cool shit and chopped it up and found out like some some things wasn't what it was with somebody else. Right. And kind of like, again, sitting down and talking. Yeah. And, and that's what it's about, the, though, the man. Yeah. Wasn't, we never had a problem, but like, that's like you introduced me to him. Yeah. He only know you through me, so your right. lo his loyalty go to you. So me and you have an issue. I automatically gotta look for him because right, you see it's he saying? like the middle man of the situation. And that's what happened, and then you know basically the nigga nigga burned me, so I called him and like, hey little bro, I just wanna let you know. Yeah. It was never that. It's just that I understand how he was looking at it because we street niggas, so we already knew it was collateral damage. Right, like, right. So he was like, man, we chopped it up or whatever, and we ended up being the best of brothers, man. Man. Motherfuckers. Yeah, it be like that, man. Sometimes yeah. all you have to do is just get it out because a lot of times it's like he say, she say, or yeah, assuming, I don't, I don't allow, or you know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like if you, you got to sit down as men and yeah. get it out a lot and I don't allow, on the table. I don't allow people to talk for me, bro. Yeah, absolutely. I don't allow nonsense in my circle. Yeah. I don't allow nobody saying no he say, she say. No, yeah. No, he. What the fuck is his name? Yeah. <laughs> Talking about they and them I, and all that old all shit. That shit. Like if a nigga and I tell people this all the time. If a nigga gotta tell you, hey bro, if I, hey man, say something about this nigga, bro. Hey, don't say you heard it from me though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. that, yeah, yeah. I got, it, I got you suspect. Bring your ass to the front <laughs> of the congregation. Hell yeah. I want you to say in front of that say, nigga. Yeah. I'm gonna push in your mouth if you say you didn't say it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because now, like, it was one situation I had. Now you lying on me. Yeah, we had <laughs> you a situation. Throw me, had throw a, me under the bus. We had a situation in the office one time where the nigga, everybody was talking shit about the nigga, how yeah. the nigga was moving and acting. Yeah. So in the group chat, I, he said something. I said, hey, bro, I feel like I had, you had some shit on your chest. Right. So if you got something on your chest, say what you need to say so we can discuss it at the end of work. Right. So we can go, we can talk about that, you get off your chest. Yeah, yeah. Because the energy that you bring, it ain't right. Thank you. Man, Blue, why you do that? Man, y'all. Niggas, I ain't talking about the nigga, man. Yeah, bitch, for real. Yeah, fuck that. So shit, you might yeah. as well say what you gonna say That's so it. we can talk. This nigga got scared and say, oh my God, I'm scared for my life. I said, bro, we said talk. <laughs> but nigga, again, this right here, yeah. will keep motherfuckers from wanting to have yeah. a conversation. Yeah. Right? Right. Because right. the excuse that they want to use is I'm scared. Yeah. But they ain't never heard somebody talk intellectual and articulate. Right. So I can talk right. street all day. We can get it cracking all day. But yeah. at the end of the day, like Jay-Z say, 
When I go in these rooms, I'm myself. That's it. So like I'm that boy T.I. do, man. That boy T.I., man, just... Intellectual. You know what I'm talking about? And, you know, just like with that, like with the cab situation, like, this was, this cab came by, I was driving, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go with this. I'm like, I'm going to change, I'm going to fuck up with this. I'm going to sing on it. Yeah. And then I went in there, and then the dude was arguing with my with 14 about what kind of records to make. He was like, man, you singing and shit. 14 like, nigga, that's what the fuck is on. Yeah, like, hey, yeah, we, why not? We do this. So I was like, yeah. bro, I was like, well, shit. And I showed him. I said, hey, bro, he ain't gonna like this record then. And I played it. I said, because I'm not just trying to chase the <laughs> <laughs> he, like, he was like, oh, that, he said, nigga, oh, they ain't gonna fuck with that. I said, bro, I'm gonna do the music I want to That's do. right. Man, That's I dropped right. this motherfucker. He recorded me. I hit him and say, hey, bro, come to the studio. Then that nigga meet me in the studio. Man, that nigga started recording me. This nigga did this. After I laid the first bit, <laughs> I said, I said, uh, twin glocks and llamas when I move. You uh. know, baby, I go food. That nigga was like, yeah. He heard that hoe. He put the hook back on it. He said, man, I'm getting on this motherfucker. 